What up players, Warboss Tay up in this mud. Um, today I'm going to show you my wet palette. I realize I've shown this to you I think in my Imperial Guard video or some Vampire Count video but I never really devoted a whole video to it so unless you follow those videos you don't really know um, what my wet palette looks like. So this is a clamshell. You can get it from any old <clears throat> games workshop figure. There are little clamshells that you could get for the um, fine cast releases and there are big ones that you can get from the uh, single single miniature plastics um, models but but I, I think this the small one from fine cast uh, from a fine cast package works perfectly well so you just when you when, when you have a new model in your hand like say one of these then all you do is take your knife Take an X-Acto knife, and when you're cutting it open down the four sides, um, and you take your miniature out and you yell, FINE CAST! Then keep this, because that will be your wet palette. <clears throat> then um, you're also gonna need a little piece of napkin. This is just uh, my old one I've already used it dried up, so I'm gonna just use it again for, for uh, display purposes. But it's just, you know, take a regular old paper napkin towel or get wax paper wax paper is even better but for for this um, this is my ghetto wet palette solution if you don't have wax paper or parchment paper this works just fine and you're gonna pour fresh water uh, you know not like from the spring or anything but um, water that hasn't had any paint cleaned off into it yet and put enough into the bottom that you can cover most of the bottom and um, you don't want too much though, you just want it to barely cover the entire surface of the clamshell by swishing it around like that. And then you take your napkin, tear it off, and uh, tear off a square enough piece that'll fit. And just put that in there. And you'll see how it's immediately getting soaked by the water. That's kind of what you want <clears throat> because when you're painting, um, you want to take the paint out of the container that it's in, say Calvin Brown, which is always a particularly thick paint. And I mean, just look how thick that is at the bottom. It is not moving. It is not moving at all. You're gonna take some, put it on your brush. If you painted it straight as is right now, then it would be very thick and leave streaks and clumps and just be generally disgusting. So what we do is we put it onto our wet palette you see how it spreads out nicely like that? Then we take the paint, try not to get it loaded with water, you just want the paint. So you don't wanna keep wiping it too much, but <clears throat> take the paint and then you paint it onto whatever model that you happen to be working on. For example, this Empire Pistolia. And you see how it doesn't streak, it goes on really smooth, the water mixing into it has um, helped it a great deal. The lines that it makes is very nice. Uh, and this is perfect for, for blending. Um, if it was too thick, then you wouldn't be able to blend. Uh, it would get all clumpy. Nobody's happy. Everybody goes home empty-handed. But with the wet palette, another good thing is that um, depending on how much paint you put on it, you know, it'll stay wet for as long as your painting session lasts. So you put enough paint on it and um, you don't want too much water mixing into it, but you know, a half an hour later, if you didn't have the napkin, if you just put paint straight from the pot, mix it with a little water and then put it into uh, an empty clamshell, plastic clamshell, then it's going to dry in like a matter of, matter of seconds. But when you've got that water and the Kleenex holding the color in one place like this, or the parchment paper even better because it's not porous, then um, that color stays there for a good long time. My, my suggestion, <clears throat> if you want an A-plus quality job, then um, go with um, parchment paper. You can get it from any cooking store or whatever, but um, wax paper, something like that. But in a pinch, napkin and a clamshell, a little bit of water, is the jab a-okay.